this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the truth about your dreams and understanding exactly what you are really doing when you go to bed at night. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I think is happening when we go to bed at night. I'm gonna share with you a new perspective that I've never really shared on the channel before. Maybe a little bit, I've talked a little bit in recent videos about the possibility that we live in a simulated reality in the same way that we may put on a VR, a virtual reality helmet and look out and actually think that we are there at the very early stages of VR that we are right now. It's highly possible that in 10, 15 years, we won't know the difference between what is real and when we put on a VR set, if that is real. So because of that, what is to say that at a higher level of consciousness, we haven't already done that? And this kind of goes into what I'll be talking about when it comes to dreams. But I think, honestly, this is a very enlightening idea. It's something that makes me feel good, knowing that we are so much more than we can priorly imagine, knowing that our dreams are not just some little side effect of our subconscious mind, which that could be one aspect of it. However, I think there's so much more that's actually happening. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about what I think that is. Now, first off, let me say that I believe that it is possible that we live in a simulated reality. Now, this is something Elon Musk actually said. Elon Musk quoted and said that he believes that the chances that this reality, this reality that we experience, the chances that this is the baseline reality, meaning the true reality, he says he believes that the chances of that are less than a fraction of 1%. He said pretty much that we live in a simulated reality. Now, this is something that when I first heard, I was like, hmm, I thought it was a little bit weird. But then I did some research on it and I looked up different perspectives to this and I realized, well, well actually I realized when I actually tried a VR system for myself and I've shared this story a couple times. Basically, my cousin came over. I was at my dad's house and we were having like a family event. He brought over his PS3. We put on this VR headset and you look around and you're actually believing that you're there because as you look, you're field of perception goes with you. There's sounds. Uh, I was in an underwater cage thing and I was looking around at fish that were swimming by and then a shark came by and a shark bit out this cage that I was sinking down in and I actually thought the shark was going to get me. Even though I knew it was a game, it still spikes the cortisol. And then I looked over the edge after he busted this thing out of the cage and I was looking over the ledge up real far down into the abyss and it was something that felt very real. And I realized at that moment that if I'm already feeling this way and we're at the first very, very, very beginning on stages of virtual reality, imagine the potential. So when Elon Musk said that, I said, yeah, what if at a higher level dimension of consciousness, we have decided to log in to the game of life to have certain experiences. Now, here's what I believe is happening in our dream state. When we go to bed at night, when we say, I am gonna go sleep, what we are actually doing is we are sleeping our quote unquote avatar, quote unquote our kind of the, the vessel we use to play this game and we're waking up at a higher level of consciousness. So many times what we do is what I believe I'm doing in dream state is I'm actually doing things in higher dimensions and I believe you're doing the same thing, not that I'm special, I'm just aware of it and there are times I remember some of these things. Now here's the thing, the higher dimensional realm of consciousness may be outside of what our brain can interpret because our brain can only give information to us that it has context for. So if we are actually doing things that are far beyond what our brain can even imagine, then what will happen is there's this buffer where the brain will give us symbols as to how certain things happen so that we can digest the information. So what this means is that at a higher level of consciousness, when we go to bed at night, we are most likely waking up to this higher level of consciousness. And then in a way, when we wake up here, we are coming back to this level of awareness. We may, from a certain perspective, be going to sleep in that reality to wake up here. So in actuality, this is about as far as we get from the true reality of who we are, but I think that's very exciting because I believe in the higher dimensional realm of consciousness, the vibration that we normally feel is unconditional love. 
When we come down into what we call the third dimension, which is this life experience, and we forget who we are because there's something called a veil of forgetfulness. Imagine if you were playing a video game and you knew that you were playing a video game. Would you take it as seriously? You may not. But imagine you're playing a video game and you actually think that it's real. You actually can't tell the difference between whether it's real or not. How much more seriously would you take that game? How much more would there be to learn? And that's kind of the idea of why we chose to be here. We chose to be here because one of the things that this makes this place so hard is we forget who we are. And then our life experiences are that to which we are remembering who we are. We are letting go of who we are not. We're letting go of labels, identity of who we are not, some personal experience, bad programming, social conditioning. And as we let that go, we become more of that natural state of who we really are. We start to merge more with our quote unquote higher self, that higher realm of dimensional existence. We are merging with that. I think that's how, something that's happening right now. And some people are experiencing it more than others. It's not a race, but it is something to where the, depending on what you are to the vibration of, you will experience. But what I believe is happening is that at the fundamental reality of who we really are, we are immortal spiritual beings living temporary human experiences. That in higher levels of consciousness, we can instantly manifest what we want because there's no time and space. There's time and space in the third dimension. There's a time space linear experience that we have here. But in higher realms, things happen instantaneously. I think that unconditional love is our natural state of being. That we feel connected to every single person with the awareness that that person, that other soul is another version of us. So we don't create as much resistance. And I think that as that higher level dimensional realm of consciousness in that realm, that's who we naturally are. But then out of bravery, we choose to come here because this is one of the most challenging places to be because we forget who we are when we come here because we go and we descend into a level of consciousness where we forget who we are. And we can always remember, and that's a lot of times why we experience either the pressure of pain in life. Sometimes that causes a spiritual awakening and a spiritual awakening. Then we become more aware of the higher realm consciousness. We, we become more connected to it. We feel more connected to it. We're always connected to it. We feel more connected to it. And then what we do is we begin to embody more of that. So at the fundamental level, what I believe we do when we go to bed at night is we wake up at a higher level of consciousness and that the symbols that we get in our life of what we did in that higher level of consciousness could be the dreams. So notice that a lot of times dreams are nothing more than symbols or metaphors for things we can currently be learning in our life. Or maybe we look at our dreams and we're like, there's no way that means anything. But understand that even the logical mind doesn't understand it. At a certain level, there's something that may have sunk in. There's, even if we don't remember our dreams, doesn't mean we didn't learn anything. It just means we didn't remember our dreams. But the reason I'm saying all of this is because I want you to know that I believe you are an immortal spiritual being living a temporary human experience. That you have forgotten who you are at a certain level to incarnate into this system and that one of the purposes of life is to remember that we logged on to this game of life. That we've logged on to this game of life, but that we are not the avatar that we identify with. It is just one aspect of us, but at a higher level dimensional, at a higher level dimensional part of consciousness, who we really are is unconditional love, it's bliss, it's connection to everyone else. It's this ability to create what we want instantly. But we decided, we said, I want to experience a new type of version of myself. I want to experience something where I can learn a lot of lessons because things happen so fast up here that I want to experience a time space reality. I want to experience things where when I manifest something, it's not like it instantly happens. I have to think about it. I have to vibrate with it. I have to learn how to act as if it is already true. I have to really be, take action as it, soak in the experience rather than just instantaneously be there. Imagine the higher dimensions, there's no journey. It's all just the end result, the end result, the end result. It's like, oh, I want to enjoy this more. I want to more so sink into the feeling. And that's why we may come to this realm of consciousness. 
Now, from a larger dream of consciousness, let's go down the rabbit hole a little bit deeper. From a larger dream of consciousness, I believe that there is a intention of the reality itself. And I believe that one of the intentions of the reality that we live in right now is that there is a quote unquote sort of a mass awakening happening. You may look around and you may say, doesn't look like that mass awakening is happening, buddy. But it's happening at a certain level and it's trickling out. It's causing a ripple effect. There are millions of people that are waking up to who they are. And we would call this a spiritual awakening. But they're waking up and they're not identifying with the ego perspectives of separation as much as they used to. This is a progressive thing. But it's the main reason I believe there are 7 billion people here right now on the planet. I believe they're real, that's the reason there's so many people that want to be here right now because I believe there is a sort of evolution that's happening on the planet. An evolution of consciousness, of remembrance, of remembrance of who we really are. Reconnecting ourselves to who we really are and remembering this because it's who we really are. And just as hard as the game may be for us to go to sleep at night and to think we're just seeing these subconscious type symbols, as hard as it is for us to also come here and for us to experience the pain that has to go with being alive here and the slowness of how things manifest, there's something about the process of raising our vibration back up and us collectively doing it. Because just like we are creating our own reality from our thoughts, we collectively are creating the momentum of what reality we experience because all of our thoughts team together to create a collective consciousness. Now, part of the dream, the simulation that we live in is that it's getting an upgrade right now. We are upgrading the reality that we live in. And it starts from with all of us. It starts with all of us remembering who we are, making the choice within ourselves to see the correlation of what we think to what we experience, of us making the decision that we are going to go deeper within. We're going to realize that we are immortal spiritual beings living temporary human experiences. We are not the ego. We are not the avatar that we may identify with. It's one aspect of us, but at a higher level of dimensional realm of consciousness, that is who we really are. So what are you doing in your dream state? I think that you're going to bed in this reality, waking up from a higher level of consciousness, and then when you come back here in the morning, you don't remember 99% of it because it's not even relatable to your brain. Imagine you did something that was beyond the five senses. Imagine you did something that you had no words for. You can't even explain it. There are colors you've never even seen. You don't even have, don't even have words to describe the colors. You had emotions that we don't have any human words for, any human or English or any language for. Imagine you experience something so far outside your normal realm of perception that you just can't even explain it. Well, how would that come back to you in our awake life now with our realm of consciousness and where we currently are with our brain? The only way that it has is through symbols and through metaphors. Through symbols and metaphors, we may not even completely understand. We may be flying and then a monkey comes out of the sky, something happens, you lose your sock, somebody kicks you in the shin, you know, random stuff has no real meaning, but at a certain level, it may be a certain symbol that sinks in some way. So dreams are symbols. Dreams are ways also that our subconscious mind can communicate with us. Dreams are ways that our higher self, our guides can connect with us. These are all possibilities. I don't know exactly what is happening, but what I do know and what I've personally experienced is dreams are not just some little regurgitation of brain activity. Dreams are just a symbol for something that I can't understand because my brain doesn't have reference experiences for it. But I get the sense that every single one of us go to bed at night when we go to bed, we wake up at a higher level of consciousness. We are more connected to people that have may have even passed away in our life. We are more connected to everyone else at a deeper level. We may be doing similar things that we're doing now. I believe in my dream state that I may be teaching at a certain level. I've had many quote unquote dreams where I am 
speaking in front of different people. I am teaching certain ideas, very similar to what I do in my real life. When I wake up here and I go, whoa, this is the real life. This is what I do. I'm doing something similar in my dream state. And that is a symbol for what I could be doing in a higher level realm of consciousness. And it's a possibility. Like I said, though, I believe that this is all a symbol. I believe in a way life is a metaphor or a symbol. I believe that as real as we think this is, it's an experience. I believe at the fundamental level, we are immortal spiritual beings of temporary human ex experiences. We've forgotten who we are because that's part of the game of life. We have a time, space, linear type experience, but in actuality, things happen instantaneously in higher dimensional realms of consciousness. We are all here right now for a collective system upgrade, a system consciousness shift, and we may have forgotten that that's why we're here, but I believe it's one of the main reasons we are here. And that as we become more aware of who we are, we start to then tap into more of our true power. And with more of our true power, with the remembrance of who we are at a higher level realm of consciousness, of more to the core frequency of who we are, we start to create from a much more high paradigm. And that our life right now is about us connecting to our higher self, us connecting our ego avatar to that of a larger aspect version of us. And I believe we're all remembering it. I think this is very empowering. I think that our natural state is that of unconditional love. I think that's who we really are. That we may come here, forget all of this because it's a beautiful thing to remember. It's a process to remember. And maybe part of the journey is to reconnect, remember and to be the best version of us, to embody more of our true self, to let go of what doesn't serve and then exist in that higher level dimensional of consciousness of unconditional love. I believe in your dream state, you're doing things you don't even understand. You can't even imagine because you are so much more beyond that which you can't even imagine to begin with. And that you may give yourself these symbols, you may give yourself these types of metaphors, archetypes in your, oh, you wake up in the morning and go, that was what my dream was. But I think that that was just what your brain can interpret as. I think you are actually much more than that. So something that I have for you is a guided meditation that will help you to raise your vibrational frequency so that you more so merge with this highest version of you so that you create things easier in your life, so that you connect to yourself at a very deep level. It's an absolutely free meditation. It's gonna be in the top of the description box below. It'll show you how to raise your vibrational set point. You listen to it for 21 days, I think it will absolutely transform your life. Another thing I'll be doing is more daily posts on Instagram, plus more live Q and A. So if you want to have more interaction with me and we'll do some more live questions and answers, then you'll see also the ability to follow me on Instagram. I do a lot more over there as well. And other than that, I want to thank you for being here today. Feel free to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little notification gear because the way YouTube does things now is you actually have to hit that button to see my daily vids. I got a lot more good stuff coming. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.